What is going on, guys? So it's day 14, two weeks in. Um, it's been about 80 to 90% fruit. Very tough. Today was a very hard day, I'll tell you that. Um, so here's, it's a funny story. So I was celebrating my grandma's 90th birthday today, and we went out to this restaurant that didn't even have any vegan options. So I was sitting there, we were in the party room with a bunch of us, and uh, they brought out a fruit platter, luckily, so I got to eat that, and that's all I had. Um, fruit platter and some water. Um, and then, of course, my family and everybody else around me was ordering really tempting food that I haven't had in two years, you know, meats and a bunch of different stuff. I wasn't too tempted by all of that. Um, but then after that, they brought out a dessert, which was a lava cake. Um, chocolate lava cakes, and I used to love getting those from Domino's back in the day, um, and they put one right in front of me, every single person got one, they put it right in front of me, and I could smell it, and I could, whoa, it was tough, and it wasn't even vegan, of course, but it was right in front of me, and I had to be so strong, guys, like, oh my goodness, it was right in front of me, it was free food, and I could have eaten it, but I didn't do it, because I know I have to clean out and stay on this path. But that was like the hardest part. And yesterday we were at a restaurant as well and there was a bunch of bread in front of me that nobody was eating. And so I was tempted by the smell of that, like the garlic and the spices on it and the lava cakes and food in front of me. So these past two days have been so hard, like unreal hard. Um, like two of the most tempting foods right in front of me and I didn't eat it. I mean, it was a struggle. <laughs> that was a struggle. So, you know, I had I had some salads because, I mean, today I only had some fruit, but yesterday I had a salad because that's all they had. Um, you know, it was all raw, so I was good. But the only things I've had apart from fruit on this, and I know fruitarian, you would say, okay, well, wouldn't that be 100% fruit? Yeah, technically, but since I'm 80 to 90% fruit, I'm still going to say it's a fruitarian challenge. Um, so, you know, I've had some salads. Um, I've had two veggie wraps in the past 14 days, just two. One of each time, which are all made of vegetables and a little bit of flax seeds. Um, that's what makes it up. Um, and I've had a raw taco. Um, and some date and avocado, date and almond, uh, like, bites. That's what I've had apart from fruit, but I haven't had them every day. It's been every other day. No, it's been, like, every other two or three days where I've had one of those things. So it's been 80 to 90% fruit, and I'm telling you, this has been a huge change in my consciousness. It's unreal. Like, I have changed so much through this through this time the first few days were the hardest in in some ways and then today and yesterday were very hard because it was like a temptation challenge like they would put it right in front of me and i wanted to eat that lava cake so bad you have no idea and on the other table uh one of my cousins ordered this giant stack of chocolate chip pancakes and i <laughs> oh it was just it was brutal it was brutal but I mean, I used to watch the show The Biggest Loser. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that show, but it's like a bunch of people that are very obese and they have to lose weight and go through a bunch of fitness and food challenges. Like, there's a few episodes in those seasons. I haven't seen it in forever, so I don't even know if it's still on or if they still do this, if it's still on. But when I used to watch it, there'd be like a few days in the show where they would have to do temptation challenges and they'd have to go to this room with a bunch of their favorite foods like they would tell the trainers what their favorite foods were before they went on the show and then on, on the temptation day they would put like a pizza in front of the guy that loved pizza and a burger in front of the guy that loved burgers and some of them would fail and actually eat it um some of them would actually pass it so that was kind of what the universe was doing to me today it was so interesting it was like Lava cakes used to be one of my favorite things. Pancakes, these things used to be my favorite things to eat. And yes, you can still make them vegan. So when I'm done with this, I'm most likely going to go back to being a vegan unless for some reason I feel insanely good and I want to stay on this. I don't know. But 
you know, you can make those vegan, but while I'm on this, I can't eat any cooked food. So that's the challenge of it. Um, and really, you would think, oh, you know, it's just a mindset. It is, but sometimes we're so attached to what we're eating that it's like, oh, how could this hurt? But, you know, one slip up and you're out. So it's, and you have to start over. So it, it takes so much mindfulness and commitment to do something like this. And it's, it's unreal. And not, not only that, but not eating sugar, I'm finding that I was, that I am so addicted to it, like cane sugar and all these things. I'm so addicted to it that it's like, it like uh, affects my emotions so much and my emotional responses to a lot of things like when people are talking to me or just in general it affects my mood a lot so in order to stay on top of that and make sure that I'm feeling good I have to like really be mindful of my thoughts and go to the dates and bananas when I need them because that's what helps tremendously um, because without the dates and bananas I would not be able to do this at all I'll tell you that uh, because sugar for me is just like it's a tough one to beat. It's a real tough one to beat. It's like, it feels like a drug withdrawal in some ways. So jumping into fruitarianism from cooked food and skipping the raw part of it, don't do that unless you're a legend or something. But like that would take guts. Like I'll tell you that would take guts to do. I don't know if anybody could do that. I'm kind of doing, like I said, I'm 80 to 90% fruit, but if I were to just say, cut out the vegetables, cut out the dates and bananas, boy, I'd be out of here. <laughs> um, it takes time for the body and the mind to adjust to these things. You can't just rush into it. It's insanely hard to do that. Um, but I'm close because I'm taking my time with it. And the vegetables help with the grounding. The herbs are a necessity for healing. It's not even funny. Any herbs you find, turmeric, reishi, chaga, anything, use those, they're insanely good, um, but you have to use them over time to see the benefits, and of course the fruits will flush out the body and get rid of these things, but again, it takes time for my acne to clear up, I still have it on both sides, mm -hmm. so that is still there, um, I still got a little bit of mucus, um, I don't have, listen, I don't really have body odor, I'm not, you know, I don't really feel like I smell or even anything, so that's kind of new, um, it may come up in a few days, I don't know, but I haven't had body in a little while, so that's exciting. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I've been a little bit low energy because I'm getting used to this still. And uh, my breathing is improving. I'm noticing that. So, so yeah, I still got more time on this. I'm hoping that I can clean my body out in a month, you know, but I think it's going to take longer, honestly, so I'm going to have to be patient, and my 21st birthday is in, no is in late November, so I'm hoping I can finish this cleanse before that, but if not, you know, it is what it is, and I'll keep going, because this matters more to me than drinking on my, on my birthday, in all honesty, so today was a tough day, it was definitely a temptation, um, and I needed the dates just to keep me from freaking out, because uh, knocking out sugar is a tough thing to do. You know, you need to take your time with things like this. So that's that's the video for today, guys. Uh, day 14, two weeks in. It's a challenge, I'll tell you. It's a challenge for sure. So see you guys tomorrow. Peace.